for the CDL inspection. You're gonna start with the top, I mean the front of the trailer, but at the top. You're gonna start with the clearance lights at the top. You say clearance lights, secure, clean, clear, and proper color. Clearance lights at the top. Here we have the header board in the front. Header board, secure, not cracked, not broken, not missing any ribbons. These are the ribbons. All right, header board, header board. Here we have the heavy vehicle safety inspection up to date. Heavy vehicle safety inspection up to date. Now we go to the side of the trailer. Side of the trailer, secure, not cracked, not broken, not missing any ribbons. Side of the trailer. Here we have the DOT tape. DOT tape covers 100% of the trailer. It's clean, it's clear, and it's proper color. DOT tape, right here. Then we come back over here, keep coming back. We have the landing gear, landing gear, secure to the trailer. Landing gear, secure to the trailer, not cracked, not broken, not missing any lug nuts and bolts. Landing gear shoe all the way up. Landing gear shoe all the way up. Landing gear support frame. Landing gear support frame. Not cracked, not broken, not missing any lug nuts and bolts. Landing gear support frame secure. Here we have the landing gear crank handle. Landing gear crack crank handle. It's in the lock position. Not cracked, not broken, not missing any lug nuts and bolts. Landing gear, crank handle. Then we have underneath the truck, from the beginning of the trailer to the back of the trailer, we have the cross members. Cross members, secure, not cracked, not broken, no illegal weldings, no illegal holes. Cross members, this one. And the floor, floor of the trailer from the beginning to the end, the floor is secure. Not crack, not broken, no holes. Not crack, not broken, no holes. Then we continue in the back. If you look inside, we have here the brake chamber. Brake chamber, secure, not crack, not broken, not leaking. Brake chamber. Then we have over here the twerk arm twerk arm twerk arm secure on both sides twerk arm is not cracked it's not broken it's not bent and secure twerk arm that we have here this is the uh, lead spring hanger at the front and the lead spring hanger in the back so we have lead spring hangers the lead springs right here and the u-bolts inside so you're gonna go inside right there in the middle you're gonna point here Again, lead spring hangers, lead spring hanger in the front, lead spring hanger in the back, lead springs and the u bolts They are all secure. They're not cracked, they're not broken, not missing any lug nuts and bolts, uh, not cracked, not broken and secure. Lead spring hangers, lead springs and the u bolts Then I see all of my hoses and my wires. My wires, they're not ripped, they're not frayed. See the wires and the hoses, not rip, no fray, and I don't hear any leaks coming from my hoses. Okay, these are dual tires. These tires cannot be less than 232 of an inch. Tire tread depth cannot be less than 232 of an inch. Between the tires, there's no rocks, no garbage. Between the tires, no rock, no garbage, and the rims, there's no space between the rims. Okay, outside of the tires, no cuts. No damages, no bubbles. Outside tire, the side. Outside rim, secure, not cracked, no broken, no illegal weldings, no illegal holes. Lock nuts, secure. They're not loose, they're not missing for the rim. Here we have the axle seal. Axle seal, secure. Not cracked, not broken, uh, no leaking. Axle seal. And then this hose over here, this is for the air valve air valve 
secure, no cuts, no damages, no leaks. On this one, I cannot check the tire pressure because, you know, it's secure with this. Uh, this, uh, you know, loads the, the tire pressure automatically from the air, mm -hmm. or the air tanks automatically. So you cannot check the tire pressure from this. But on the other truck, the road test, you can check because it's not like that, all right? And here we have the mop flap. Mop flap secure. Mop flap not touching the ground, not touching the tires. Mop flap has no damage, not missing any hardware, and secure. Mop flap. Then in the back here we have on top the clearance lights. Clearance lights secure, not cracked, not broken, and proper color. Clearance lights. And the rear trailer door. Rear trailer door secure, not cracked. Not broken, not missing any ribbons. Trailer, rear trailer door, handle. It's in the lap position. You touch it a little. Bit. In the lap position, not cracked, not broken, and secure. Uh, rear trailer door, uh, door handle. Rear trailer door, door handle. Secure, lap position. So here we have the turning signal lights, forward flashing lights. And these are the brake lights on both sides. I see them on both sides, all four are secure. They're not cracked, they're not broken, and they are of proper color. Here's my rear bumper. Rear bumper, secure, not cracked, not broken, not missing any bolts. They're all secure, they're not loose or missing. And the DOT tape is present, covers 100% of the rear trailer. DOT tape, proper color. Secure, no damage. And then inside here, stand over here, get the point over here. The inside of the tires, the rear tire, is not ripped, no fray, no cuts, no damages, no bubbles. All right, inside of the tires. Inside rim, secure, not cracked, not broken, no illegal weldings, no damage. Drum, drum here, drum secure. Not cracked, not broken, no garbage, no debris on top of it. Drum. Between the drum and the brake pads, in between there is no oil, okay? And here's the brake shoes or brake pads. Brake shoes cannot be less than one quarter inch of thickness. Brake shoes cannot be less than one quarter inch of thickness. Brake shoes, they're not ripped, they're not frayed, they don't have any damage. Brake drum, brake shoes, rim and the inside of the tires and here we have for the brake chamber you take the push rod and slack adjuster push rod and slack adjuster secure not cracked not broken and yeah secure with the caterpillar right here so push rod and slack adjuster they cannot be more than one inch of play when the brakes are released push rod and slack adjuster cannot be more than one inch of play when the brakes are released push rod and slug adjust and that's the end for part c